welcome to this physio fit session. Physio fit session is something I made for you if you're looking for a bit more of a moderate workout compared to some of the other sessions here in my channel. The physio fit session, you won't find anything jumping. We are gonna go from one exercise to the other one. Today we're working within a time frame of 45 seconds and 15 seconds to get ready for the next exercise. Doing them one after each other for three rounds in all. So by the end of this session, you've been working your entire body in a moderate way, but don't let anybody fool you because you will be able to feel this sequence just as good. So do look after the quality, do some modification if you need to, take a rest period now and then. We are working with the 45 seconds, but maybe you need to take an extra break, just go ahead and do that. It doesn't matter as long as the quality is perfect. So I will just help you and guide you from one exercise to the other one. I work in my daily life as a physiotherapist and with this physio fit session, as all my other sessions here on my channel, I use my knowledge as a physiotherapist to give you some good, comfortable workouts where you can feel your body and move in a safe, good way. So uh, let's start with a short warm up and then we're just gonna go on from one exercise to the other one. So. We are already standing here with a good distance between our legs, starting out by getting ourselves in focus. So inhaling, reaching up and exhaling, bring those arms down and feeling a chest, a little bit of a stretch in our chest area. So inhaling, reaching up and keeping that chest up and chin in, going up and back down again. And one more reaching up and going down. Going further into a squat position, bring those legs in down in a 90 degree angle in our knees, keeping our chest up and a good nice alignment. Pushing off from the heels and avoiding tipping forward on our toes because then we are stressing our knees. So putting those thumbs up, opening up in our shoulder joints. And as we're going up to a straight position, please engage your thigh muscle and your glute area. So inhaling and exhaling. Go for another four. Bring up and down. And two more. Squeezing, reaching up. And one more. Staying up here, bring those elbows down and backwards. So a little bit down and forward. So we are doing a retraction with our shoulder blades. So typically what I see in my daily life, I see people slacking here. They're too tight in their chest muscle, but a little bit weak between the shoulder blades. So let's get rid of that. Bring your arms back and in front. Our head is in a still nice, safe position squeezing and engaging our core muscle as we are going back here. Four more strong arms, four, and move them forward. Three, and inhaling, and just one more to go, bringing your arms on top of your hips, moving from one side to the other one, loosening up a little bit in your knees. So don't be standing with stiff legs, just bouncing a bit so we can do the twisting and the moving, keeping hands on our hips and just feeling that you're squeezing your core area. <sighs> keeping that chin in and reaching forward, opposite elbow for four <sighs> and three, waking up that spine, two and alternative and one and keeping yourself in center, chin in, going all the way down, touching the ground if possible, moving up, building up our spine, one vertebra at the time, moving those shoulders back, going down again, squeezing our core area, and moving up again. And as we go down, the important thing is that you can feel a slightly stretching your hamstring muscle, opening up because the hamstring muscle, just like the chest muscle, tends to be a little bit more tight than some of the other muscle in our body. Moving up, chin in, rolling all the way down and all the way up again. Reaching from one side to the other one, making a good circle and tipping toe down in. The floor, lifting that leg up, engaging our glute area, squeezing straight arms, drawing a big circle.
circle, keeping that chest up and chin in. So make sure every time you're moving that leg up, you are giving your glute muscle an extra squeeze. Bringing these forward and pushing up. So pushing and pulling. Staying in the same alignment, no flexion in our upper back. And no flexion in our lower back as well. So pushing off, bring those arms up for four and three, squeezing two and our final one. Good, maybe you wanna grab something to drink. Anyways, we are lying down on our right side. I'm putting the time on in just a few seconds. Right arm underneath your head, the top arm in front of you. And we are starting out by lifting both legs up and down again. If this is too much, you can bend your knees and do exactly the same. Working with the 45 seconds and I will show you the next exercise in the 15 second rest period. So lying down here comfortably on our right arm, squeezing those ab muscle hands in front of us, lifting up. So as we're moving those legs up, you should feel a strengthening coming between your rib cage and your hips. So bending that portion of your body, but try to stay in a straight line with the rest of your body. Squeezing, or maybe you wanna bend your knees, doing the same exercise. Whatever you can feel in between, in this part between your rib cage and your hip area. So squeezing, and before we're lifting up, we are getting a nice tight tightness in our ab area. Bring those legs up and down, staying down here, but and still hands in front of us, moving knees up, touching the arm, straight line out. Try to keep the legs up and above the exercise mat. Supporting here in front of us, so off we go with those legs, bring those knees in and out to the straight position, up and back again. So just before we were moving a little bit with our bleed muscle, now we're engaging a bit more in our core area straight position and you can always go with your knees bent all the time so up with those knees back into a straight position and move those legs up and out inhale as we go up straight line out Relaxing your head on your arm. Very good. Turning a little bit forward, hips pointing down, straight legs, moving a bit further down, engaging our glute area. So bring that leg up in a straight line, back down again. You can use your left arm as a supporter in front of you. What is very important here is that besides keeping your lower back in a nice tight position, no extension in your lower back, is that you should feel the squeeze in your glute area. Every time we're moving that leg back, we can feel the squeeze, sort of like kicking back. If it's too much to do it with your straight leg, bend your knee and do the same and pushing back instead. But for both ways, we need to engage our core area. So we are staying in the same position up here. Bring that leg down and into center. Back and forth, back and forth, all the way down on our stomach, thumbs up, turning ourselves into a swimming position, moving arms up and down. So engaging your glute area and bring those that upper body up, looking down, swimming here. So squeezing the full back of your body and thumbs are pointing up. If this is too much, you can go with and lift here, diagonal, moving one arm up and the opposite leg. Looking down all the time, squeezing and reaching up. And if you need a break along the way, you just do that. Just try to keep the quality. Nose is pointing down to ease off our neck. Inhaling and exhaling. And you can always go with a little bit of swimming here, a little bit of a diagonal lift. Squeezing and feeling in your 
entire back of your body. <sighs> Getting up on our knees in a straight plank position. Hands right underneath our shoulders, moving one arm front and back. Just pointing down the base of your hands, shoulders away and reaching out. Squeezing, bring that arm back in again. Inhale and exhale, keeping that straight line. So reaching out, feeling your muscle kicking in. Back again, inhale and exhale. <sighs> Squeezing, reaching out. <sighs> the straight line is still there over your hips. And in a few seconds, we're going to lie down on our left side, opposite of before, doing the three exercise lying down. <sighs> reaching out, ab reach out, arms back down again. Lying on our left side. On the opposite as just before, head resting on our head, starting out by doing the straight leg lift using our oblique muscle. So moving up with those arm legs and bring them back again. If too much, do the same exercise with your knees bended. And you can do a little bit of both. And getting in shape and getting stronger is just like a journey, you need to start and then go move on in your own tempo. And by time, you get better and better. <sighs> Squeezing and feeling it. But do look after the quality. Keeping that core area nice and tight. Easing off our shoulders. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. <sighs> Resting your head and we are ready to bend our knees, hands still in front of us, bringing those knees up towards your arms and back out to a straight position. And off we go. Legs up and out again. Squeezing, filling your whole core area. Not just your oblique muscle, but anything in that core area. Doing it with your legs straight and you can do it with your knees bended, squeezing straight line. Good support with your top arm, moving front and back, doing a flexion in our lower back, straight line. Leaning over and we are moving our top leg up and back again. So doing yourself a favor, squeezing those ab muscles in the rest period to get ready to do the hip extension, squeezing up and down. So moving that leg up, you're squeezing your glute muscle, bringing the leg down again, engaging our core area, easing off our neck and Inhale and exhale. So when we're done with this one, we have a bit of a break and then we're ready to go for second round out of three rounds. So all for the eight exercises we've been doing just in a few seconds. And if possible, of course, you can continue with the two last round. I hope you do. But else maybe you want to stop and come back and do a few more rounds next time. Good job. So a bit of a water break and we are ready to lie down on our right side doing round number two. So water and off we go. So lie down on the right side, putting the timer on to a start. Lying down on our right arm here and squeezing our core muscle, starting out by exercise. One, hands in front of us and relaxing our head, lifting those legs up and back down again. So squeezing and lifting with an oblique muscle. <sighs> Resting our head on our arms, squeezing, 
and lowering back it down and you can do this exercise with your knees bent instead do what it takes to do the good quality and relaxing in your head and shoulders up we go back down again four more seconds and we are resting here trying to stay in the same position bringing our knees up and out again so easing up with our head on our arm so both knees up and back into a straight position and you can go with your knees bent it all the time squeezing and straight line feeling this exercise in your all your ab area core area squeezing and still feeling it in your oblique muscle because we're having those legs off the ground all the time five more seconds up with those knees back into a straight line leaning a bit forward resting on both arms engaging your core muscles still and bring that leg up and back down again yep get that leg up and returning to center squeezing the glute area feeling it every time here so still we're working in a core area but we are focusing on our glute muscle kicking back with a straight leg and back in front again squeezing going back to center straight knee if possible else you can do the same exercise with knees bended just make sure you feel it in your glute area squeezing look after you're not just swinging your leg forward and back but actually really squeezing it lying on our stomach ready to do the swimming so thumbs up nose down lifting up so we can feel our entire back of our body and swimming straight up if possible or you can do a little bit of a bended elbows or you can go down and lift opposite leg and arm that good straight position inhaling and exhaling getting chest off the exercise there and looking down <sighs> squeezing your glutes opening up feeling the muscle along your spine good straight alignment over your neck <sighs> keep it moving and we are getting up on our knees doing the ab reach out so a straight position over our hips unlocked elbows hands right underneath shoulders and we are straight forward back again and as we reach forward we can feel a whole core area up working if this is too much for your shoulder maybe your wrist you can go down and continue the exercises here and back to center straight out back notice your hip area that you're not bending but trying to stay in a straight line shoulder back in a good stable position line on our left side other side of before arms underneath our head ready to lift up both legs engaging oblique muscle so both legs up and down again squeezing lifting slowly lowering down easing off our shoulders and bring those straight legs up 
and keep that nice area tight and engaged. Do you remember your pelvic floor as well? Up we go, back down again. Feeling every repetition, squeezing and lifting. Now we are moving both our legs up, bending in our hips and bring those knees up towards your arm and relaxing your neck and bring those legs in and out again. And breathing in and breathing out. Squeezing, so continuing feeling in your oblique muscle because we have our legs lifted up above the mat. <sighs> nice and slowly movement, feeling everything and straight out. <sighs> Make sure that you're relaxing your head down on your arm. Pressing back, squeezing, straight line. Moving over a bit, resting on our both our arms and try to get into that straight line over your knee and easing off the neck and bring it up and down. And moving up by squeezing your glute area, keeping your core area in a nice, good, tight position. <sighs> Squeezing, lowering back again. Feeling your glute muscle working. Our eight and final exercise in round number two. Then we only have one round to go in eight exercises and you have been using your full body. <sighs> Relaxing your neck and squeezing back again. <sighs> Turning over to our right side, last and final round. Arm right underneath your head. Up we go with those legs for our third and final time. Straight legs up and down. <sighs> Before we lift our legs up, we have a nice, tight, engaged core muscle area. <sighs> Pressing a little bit off with our upper arm here on our left arm. Squeezing, reaching up. Do it with your bended, with bended knees, it's better. <sighs> Just make sure that you feel it. Squeezing, lowering back down for only five more seconds. <sighs> Two legs, move up towards your bended arm. Last and third time on our right side. Up with those knees back into a straight line. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. <sighs> Straight line, no high back extension in our lower back into center. <sighs> Eight seconds, squeezing, pressing off. Take a bit of a rest if possible, if you need to. I know this is getting a little bit challenging in our third round. So leaning a little bit over here. So you're resting in both arms, straight leg up and up we go. Squeezing that glute area down with our foot every time. And when we contract the glute muscle, we are making sure that our lower back is staying in the same 
position, squeezing, reaching back up and down again. Bring it up and lowering down again. And you can continue doing this with a bended knees for a little bit of a easy modification. Up and around here, swimming our final time. Thumbs pointing up, nose pointing down. And try to stay up here and bring those arms and legs up, just like swimming on land. Straight arms, straight legs, if possible, you can move your arms down here if you have a neck or a shoulder issue. Or you can do the lifting, opposite leg and arm. Lots of possibilities. Just start somewhere where it fits you and you will go stronger. Nice and easy breathing. Using those muscles along the spine, getting up here, shoulder stability and squeezing our abs, ready to reach out, right and left arm, forward and back again. Imagine somebody is holding onto your thighs, avoiding you for, from twisting with your lower body straight line, back again. So reaching out, not dropping the shoulder stability on the uh, arm, staying home. <sighs> Forward and back. <sighs> reaching back again. Like on our left side for our third and final time, easing off, straight legs, shoulders back. So the first one where we are moving both legs up in a straight line, up we go and back again. So two more exercises and then we're all done. Squeezing, lowering back down again. Make sure that you are making the decision of what tempo moving up and down so we can make sure you don't just drop your legs but you are in control moving our legs up and slowly going back again very good going for the straight from straight legs to bended knees. Five more seconds. And bring those knees up and back again. If possible, keep those legs lifted all the time or else you can do a little bit of a resting when you are in back in the starting position. Make sure you feel it in your ab area as you pull those knees up back into the straight line again squeezing straight out relaxing that hip up we go straight out and leaning over for our third and final exercise. So straight leg and ready to go for a lift up with that top leg. Two and one, engaging your core muscles, squeezing, going back down again. Straight leg or bend your knee. Feeling your glute muscle squeezing and 
back down again the glute area being the biggest muscle group in our body sometimes a lot of people don't use it for anything else but sitting on but it's a good thing to keep those glute muscles nice and working because they are supporting your pelvic and that's where your spine and back is coming from so keep it nice and well working squeezing up back down again and that's it putting the timer to a stop and we you might want to grab a bit of water great job so I will put a link on top of this session and below for you to do some stretching. Always a good thing to end off with a bit of stretching to get into a nice, good, comfortable position. If you felt like getting anything out of this content, consider subscribing. Maybe you want to give it a thumbs up. It's always good for a channel. But until I see you next time, stay strong, healthy and stay happy. Take good care. Bye.